we have here is a Vertex 2 um, solid state drive, so a Vertex 2 SSD which I would be installing in my MacBook Pro I have here. I've got a 13 inch MacBook Pro, it's a 2010 model um, with the 2.66 gigahertz processor, 4 gig of RAM and currently a 320 gig 5400 RPM hard drive. Now I'm going to be upgrading that hard drive to this Vertex 2 uh, SSD drive um, which is a 240 gig version uh, it should be much faster than the, the stock 5400 RPM hard drive that's uh, in the system at the moment so this Vertex 2 drive um, has a read speed of up to 285 megabits per second and 275 uh, megabytes per second write time so uh, a very fast solid drive, it's got plenty of excellent reviews um, so let's take a look at what's in the box it's quite a, a slim box as you can see, it's, not, it's got some information on the back um, uh, just about the, the drive itself, the read and write time uh, speeds and so on um, so it's quite, quite a nice slim box there um, if we take the box out that's inside very well presented, I do like the way it's presented um, so it's in a nice little slip case on the back you've got the so this is the adapter so you get a, an adapter in the actual box which you can put your drive onto so you put your SS drive onto this and this will fit into any standard desktop PC so any standard 3.5 inch drive bay um, will be able to you'll be able to use this SSD drive in desktops as well as laptops so that's the adapter now if we go to the front of this a nice little case here you got a small sticker that says my SSD is faster than your HDD hard disk drive that's that you've got some information here about the the actual drive itself the warranty information and so on and here's the actual drive itself you got a, a few screws at the side here um, and that's for screwing the drive into the uh, adapter the 3.5 inch adapter so the drive itself is just here. So here's the drive itself, um, just a uh, 2.5 inch standard looking drive. Um, nothing special about it, it just looks like a, a, any other standard drive to be honest. If I uh, just open this from here. And remove the drive. There we go. So there's your SATA connectors just there. Um, it looks very nice but obviously once it's in the system you're never going to get to really look at it anyway so you can install this in an external caddy if you wanted to to make a, a very large very fast external drive um, but we'll be sticking this one into the, the MacBook Pro and uh, seeing how we get along with the speeds now I'm not actually going to, be going to get too in depth with this I'm not going to be looking at benchmarks for every single megabyte that's been read and written and so on I'm just looking, going to look at the, the real world, world basics, it's all I'm interested in is the, the boot up time, how quickly it opens applications and so on. I think that's what a lot of other people are, are basically interested in, just the, the basics on uh, how the drive performs in everyday usage. Right, what we'll do now, we'll time the actual boot up time. This is the standard hard drive, remember this is the 2.66 GHz version of the 2010 MacBook Pro um, with 4 gig of RAM. It's got the standard 5400 RPM Seagate Momentous hard drive in there at the moment and we'll do a quick timer uh, of the, the boot up and running up a couple of basic applications to see how it performs with this stock drive. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this timer and switch on the Mac at the same time and see how long it takes to boot. Right, so that was exactly until the desktop showed up and the along with the dock in the top bar and we're looking at 28 and a half seconds. 
So that was the uh, full boot at 28 and a half seconds. What we'll do now, bear in mind this is a, a fresh boot now, so uh, what we'll do, we'll open Photoshop CS4 and we'll see how long that takes to start up. So I'll do exactly the same, start the, the program and the timer at the same time. As soon as I think the, the program is open and the hard drive activity has stopped, I'll stop the timer. Okay, that was 11, just over 11 seconds for Photoshop. What we'll do now, we'll just try one more application. Let's go for a common one, Microsoft Word 2008. So we'll just reset that and we'll time exactly how long that takes to fully start. Right, that was 9.1. 9.1 seconds for Word. So as you can see, the times aren't too bad at the moment. Uh, what we'll do now, we'll install the SSD and we'll see if that uh, makes a huge difference. Ten screws around the edge, uh, which I've already removed. So, ten screws. You need a small pre precision uh, Phillips screwdriver to remove those nicely. Once you take that away, you've got the, uh, the hard drive will go into this bay here. Now I've already taken my previous hard drive out and this is the Vertex 2 solid state drive here. Now this plastic tab came off the old hard drive, it's just a bit uh, sticky tab so you stick that on the side and these four ball screws here uh, need a T6 screwdriver, a Torx 6 screwdriver to uh, take them off the old drive and put them onto the new drive. They're just uh, little tabs that keep the drive in place when you, when you put, put it into the MacBook. Now you've got the small connector here, simply connect it up. Once it's connected up, you slide it into one side. You then have a small bar which I removed uh, just before I took the old hard drive out. And this fits back into place here. Put the screws, two screws back down, these two screws here, put them back down, put the cover back on, and you're pretty much there. Right, now that we have the solid state drive installed, let's do the same test again. We'll start with the, the boot up time. So we'll press both of these together. So that's about 21 and a half, just over 21 and a half seconds. Uh, the previous boot up time with the hard drive was 28 and a half seconds. So we've shaved about 7 seconds off the boot up, which isn't too bad. Bear in mind this is using the standard manufacturer firmware. There has been uh, another SSD firmware uh, released since then, which I haven't updated to just yet. So uh, that may shave another couple of seconds off, but it's not a, a bad time so far. Okay, next test, we'll quickly start Photoshop and we'll start this at the same time. Three and a half seconds. Much better than the sub 10 or 11 seconds it took with the, the hard drive, I can't remember which it was. It was around 10 or 11 seconds. Um, as you can see, three seconds, so definitely made a big improvement there. And finally, let's go with Word. Two and a half seconds. So that's going from the nine seconds it took before down to two and a half seconds with the SSD. So as you can see, the SSD has definitely made an improvement.